Entanglement. Have you guys seen this pop up everywhere on Twitter and social media? I know yes. what that means. This word. Is what this is with it? Will and Jada? It is. Oh, I just saw something today. 50 Cent was talking shit and he was like, <laughs> fuck you, 50. And I was like, what is this? I was like, is this real? Why Why? Why is the word entanglement used? Why is that? Oh, I will show it? you. That's a, so, that's a good word. That's so why. Jada used this. Okay, so context. Um, August. Uh, what's the last Alcina. name? Alcina. Alcina. August Alcina, he's a, he's a music artist. Um, and so he came out in this interview and revealed some stuff, or confirmed some stuff, because there have been rumors. Has he been years. fucking Jada? <gasps> he confirmed he was fucking Jada. Well, I mean, like, isn't it, like, pretty normal that, or known that they have an open relationship? So that's the rumor. But it, well, that was a rumor? Yeah. For like the past 10 well, years, I thought they were open. Yeah. I know, I knew that too, but they were just saying like, they believe they believe in having a lifelong partnership. partnership. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, but they're still open. Well, they never gave that label yeah. specifically. I think because oh. to like save face for normal people that can't understand that. That's true. Exactly. Well, it, also, a lot of people who end up being in like open relationships, there's different... There's different ways of perceiving what that actually means, like how to actually define it. And so that's why for people that are in these types of situations, they have their own version of how they're gonna be defining it. And so that's why for the Smiths, they just said like a lifelong partnership. Well, there's 7-Eleven open, and then there's Japanese restaurant open where technically from three to five, they don't open. That's now. true. Yeah, they're resting. I don't know why, they just open for lunch and dinner. I know. They get lazy or what? And it's like 2.30, you want to have a late lunch, you can't even eat Japanese nope. food. You got to start from five. I feel like that makes sense sometimes. But I mean, like, what about the prep work? Maybe they got Who can, man? What the hell? I mean, you could prep while you're working. So this is what they've actually oh, said. Like a Chinese restaurant, they're cooking and they're eating at the same time. <laughs> so like, for example, <laughs> back in 2013, Jada was being interviewed and she said, uh, when she addressed this, um, she said, I've always told Will, you can do whatever you want as long as you can look at yourself in the mirror and be okay. Because at the end of the day, Will is his own man. I'm here as his partner, but he is his own man. He has to decide who he wants to be and that and that's not for me to do for him or vice versa. And then again, she reiterate, re reiterated in 2015 saying, here's the deal with that. Uh, you've got to trust who you're with. And at the end of the day, I'm not here to be anybody's watcher. I'm not his watcher, he's a grown man. Here's what I trust. I trust that the man that Will is, is the man of integrity. So he's got all the freedom in the world. As long as Will can look himself in the mirror and be okay, I'm good. That's kind of like how they've been addressing that rumor. But now, it's with It's pretty easy August, to look at myself in the mirror after I get a blowjob though. Yeah, I mean, if you're married and it's not by your wife and you hold certain values, maybe you couldn't. Yeah, that's true, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, so. a lot of gray area here. Yeah. I might feel guilty or wealthy. I'll be looking. <laughs> never mind, never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you guys a video clip of August during this interview and when he confirms. During July. I didn't even know that fool was still relevant. I didn't, I've never even heard this of him. This is how you get relevant. I've heard of him before. I had never heard His of him. His album coming out, probably. Is that a Zodiac sign in the background thingy? It's a... Oh, yeah, it looks yeah. like one, huh? Astronomy, huh? Yeah. It's kind of oh, yeah. in the age of Aquarius. It is. Yep. It is. Okay. okay, anyway. I don't really have a choice but to express my truth. I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation due to the transformation from their marriage to life partnership that they've spoken on several times and it, you know, not involving romanticism. Mm -hmm. He gave me his blessing. To fuck and his I, wife. I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life, you know, and I truly and really, really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her. Okay, so that was what he said. Now, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Jada, she has her own Facebook show called The Red Table Talk, and that's oh, where- Oh yeah, like, I think I've seen clips of it. Yeah, oh, we've actually right. talked about it here on, on JK News. Like where Will, uh, what's her name? Willow, where Willow like talked about certain things on that show. Well, anyway, that's the show that she has on Facebook, and so she said that she's taking herself to the red table. And, and to have this talk. And so Will was sitting in like the Jada position, so he was kind of like 
interviewing her. her and trying to like let her speak her truth and so this is a clip from that and what they say in it it went very very viral i think so i mean because this is your red table and you like brought yourself to the red table i think um you need to say clearly what happened as far as what you and i decided we were gonna take our space and what happened yeah and then i got into an entanglement with august that's what i said an entanglement yes <laughs> <laughs> yes a relationship yes it was a yeah. relationship absolutely i was in a lot of pain and i was very broken so i'm in the, i'm in the jada position right now so okay. you know you during that time launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with august what do you feel like um you were looking for i just wanted to feel good mm -hmm. it had been so long mm -hmm. since i felt oh, good i feel like that husband Ouch. like i'm with you at the press conference <laughs> my husband i'm with now i gotta be with you at the press conference <laughs> While you like to tell the world uh, about your transgressions, <laughs> well, like I love, I love my baby. I'm gonna stand by my baby no matter what. You expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. Twenty five years and counting. Uh, this part. We ride together. We, we die, die together. Uh, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> 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 uh, that's terrible. It's the truth. It's the truth. Are they getting a divorce? No, so oh, okay. So the whole thing is like how this is just their situation that they, for many years, it was kept very private. And so for her, like they started off this episode with them, like Jada saying like, you know, I was not very happy that all this like private information got leaked out without like my knowledge or whatever. No, the whole thing here is that they have this life partnership thing and she was in a relationship yeah. with another guy and so it was it's not that they're going to get a divorce or at that time they were separated they had broken up they thought that they were going to just end it but then why her getting in that relationship and apparently like they ended up healing their own relationship within like their marriage but I guess it's not a marriage um yeah and so a lot of people were looking at this and from what I saw on social media, it was very 50-50. Like, half of the people are like, damn, that's so tight. Like, they're so transparent. Like, it's so real. Like, yeah, people have different relationships and people work out in different ways. And that's- They don't I mean, seem happy at all. <laughs> like, like, that, like, they're making it work for their situation. And who the fuck are we to judge because we're not in this relationship, right? And so that's half the, like one half. And then the other half is like, like Joe, like, they don't look like they're happy. That's terrible to say, bad marriage for life. What the fuck, I would never want that for myself. Like I would run far away from that. Like how are they even still together? So there's like two conversations happening around this whole thing. Well, I, online. I, I mean, at the moment they don't look happy, but I don't know why. Like people could write their own ideas of what the motive is, but for me, it looks like embarrassment. Because it seems like they're, they've are they been doing this forever, but then now they have to come out to the public with it. So now it's embarrassing and it's kind of like, how are we going to work through this one? Now we fucking blew the lid, didn't we? You know, like... Um, A lot of people are pointing out how Will looked like he just looked like, like a little broken puffy. man. Like he... Like there were people pointing out like there were just moments in this whole episode where it looked like he wanted to cry or like something was going on behind the scenes that we didn't fully get to see. He looked like he just ate something of high sodium and he's kind of bloated. Well, yeah. it depends on how much you know about their relationship. Cause like, I didn't bat an eye about the infidelity or I don't even know if it's in, but the open relationship is cause it's something that I've heard and I knew and I was like, well, they're probably dating multiple people. That's what I always thought. So I'm like, I whoa. The same and what, what probably hurts is like, why did you do it? It wasn't for pleasure, it was actually because I'm empty feeling with you, you know? And I think that's pretty painful. Well, that's cool that they're talking about that. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's they're open and stuff. Like they don't have to do it that way, but I'm also like, why do people care so much when it's a celebrity and their relationship when it's like... I think that's important to understand though. It's like the idea of even being celebrity, the, the reason why you even have what you have is because of things like your fans, right? You know what I mean? When you're in that category of like what has given you success. So it's kind of like you owe it to your fans when the whole world is talking about this. If I was Will, I'd be like, 
yeah, we got to talk about this. Right? I get that side, like being like open and stuff. But I think in terms of like how you conduct your relationship, especially because we don't get how it is at that level. You know, like we don't understand like or their level. Even within the in, like, inside of the relationship, like no one ever knows besides the two people literally inside. Yeah. Like they don't. I know think what people try to do is for guidance. Yeah. sometimes too. And it's like so when you shatter the when there's a facade and you because for example like Will Smith. He's a stand-up dude. Like, well, appear, like what he appears to be is like they have great, you know, family. They have a, you know, great loving relationship. And then like what people do is they use that as a beacon of hope or whatever to model their life after, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what people look at when they see role models or celebrities or whatever. They go, oh, I want to be like Will or whatever. And then this comes out. They're like, it shatters their belief and what they were chasing. Mm -hmm. So they're like, what the fuck? I mean, we all know don't identify with a character, but we're not fans. Yeah. It's very different from up from from the way that we see behind the scenes and as a as a person on stage. It's very different from a person that's looking up to someone on stage. But I think it's good. Like the, the reason they're talking about it, because I'm like, it needs to shadow shadow those things because people mm -hmm. they have this perception of what like, love. Yeah, is they're not. No one's a god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, everyone's fucked up. Yeah, it's like for them to go like everyone has ups and downs and yeah. like the stuff that they're going through. It's one like on a different level, but it's like people go through that. You know, Bro, they, I never have relationship goals. You know why? Because people are only going to show you what is what they want to show you. Yeah. So when you look at couples and you go, oh, goals, it's like. Why? Yeah, you literally don't know what's happening you inside don't the know? relationship unless you're inside the relationship. Why do you want what another person has? It's like, you don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know if they're turning around and beating each other up. You don't know if there's like other things going on. Like it might be a give and take. They might have a lot of fun, but there might be a lot of things underneath. Dude, you know, you that's, just don't actually, know. Um, that's actually the reason I, I realized that, that that's kind of what kind of developed my weird ass like social media phobia is it all started like my journey like of my image my public image right is the fact that like early on a lot of people were looking up to me and Casey and being like oh my god you guys have the perfect relationship you guys are so amazing and all these things and then but like me being inside the relationship I'm like wait hold on we're not perfect like holy shit there's so many issues like no, 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 no we're not like this why don't you guys show a picture of a fight and then and then I felt like a fraud because you show all, all the good time. stuff. No, hold on. So then I felt like a fraud. And so that's when I started like revealing more and more. And I'm just like, N like, it's not like that. Like, I I'm not trying to be fake about my image. I'm not trying to give you guys these weird, like these, uh, these unattainable, yeah. Like unattainable illusion of what our relationship is like. Cause it's not like that. So then, yeah. but then once I started revealing some of the truth, it ended up backfiring on me and then now it, and like our relationship and then people are like just scrutinizing our relationship like why the fuck are they even married like it's so toxic like blah, 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 yeah. all these things I find it I find it interesting that like they only want to see the good parts and then when you reveal like the realness the real, of your relationships yeah. it's just kind of like well then you're the idiot for being in the relationship so then <laughs> yeah. so then once that happened then I'm like Oh fuck, like I can't move. I can't make I can't show the good. I can't show the bad because no matter what it's it's bad and no matter what like i just and it kind of made me and made me feel in this weird like frozen position that's why i don't really vlog as much i don't really post as much i don't try to really talk about our relationship that much anymore on in videos as much and it's just because like they're just really like weird like i don't know how to navigate this whole sense of, of like public image so seeing will and jada in that episode it was actually comforting to Very see. cathartic. Yeah, where I'm like, oh fuck, okay, there's other people out there that are similarly. What about the option of who cares what anyone thinks? And that was the easiest, life. like obviously, right? But to actually feel that is fucking hard. Like to actually get to that level and be like, whatever, you know? I I'm slowly working towards that and both Case and I, and like, you know, like through therapy is very helpful. Which and is awesome, you guys are going through therapy. Yeah, yeah, so then like slowly inching towards that of like, it is what it is, is. Hawaiian. It, yeah, is kind of like the goal. Yeah. And yeah, I think that, that is a lot ideal. of people um, don't think and work enough on what happens, like cause and effect. So what ends up happening is like you react to the immediate feeling that you're getting 
For example, like if you if someone passes judgment on you, right? Instead of dissecting how valid those person's words are, what you try to do is immediately argue with them in your head or in your heart, or whatever, right? And that's what most people do. So if you, if someone made a comment and you're just like, wait, that's not who I am. Fuck you, right? Or you can go, who is this person? Let me look. Oh, this guy's like 14. He's never even been in a relationship. Why is his words valid? Why does it matter? But if it hurts you, it's probably because you're insecure about something. Well, that's exactly the work that goes into getting to that point of who it is what it is. Oh, because damn, then man. that's what I, like, previously I remember mentioning on the show where I'm like, you know, I started reading comments and the ones that actually affected me and like gave me an emotional reaction, I started analyzing why does that hurt me? Why does it anger me? Why do I feel like I need to correct that thinking? And it's because that's shit that I just haven't dealt with myself. So it's like, it's being uh, projected back onto me and I, I, I don't know you're, how to handle you're, it. You're, like it's being confrontational to yeah. you and you're like, I'm not ready to confront this shit. Right, yeah. so then I end up like, it's an egotistical like attack of like trying to correct it. Even yep. instead of looking inside and being like, oh fuck, I gotta work on this shit. And that's the key man, is that everyone's got this fucking ego that they don't know that they have. Yeah. Everyone thinks mm -hmm. having an ego is being conceited, but that's not what it is. Yeah. It's literally a defense mechanism. Self-preservation. Yeah, and you want to preserve your identity and who you are and what you think you are and all that shit. Well, and I'm like, want to be perceived, yeah. yeah, and then once that, once you get to that point of, it doesn't fucking matter because I can't control what people think and do, it's so liberating. And it's yeah. one of the best feelings in the whole entire world. Mm -hmm. But sure. I think you need to like practice that mentality because you yeah. can have moments of that where you feel good about it, yes. but then if you, it's balanced, right? If it you is. end up just like, your environment continues to suffocate you even like just in small doses over a long period of time, right? I, I just think that people like sometimes forget that even for example, Will Smith's first son wasn't even with Jada. Like that was mm -hmm. already like- Oh yeah. yeah, that big motherfucker. Yeah, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Cause so there's like, always a picture and it's like those two and then some grown ass man. You're like, oh yeah. So, so you might be like looking at this situation like, oh my God, like they're supposed to be the perfect celebrity family. But it's like, no, like in context, Imagine Will, like he's already gone through maybe one marriage and you know, having a child yeah, with somebody, things didn't work out. I maybe like he didn't like that feeling, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Maybe he, he was going through some stuff with Jada and it's kind of like, yo, like, to be honest, even just to be around for Jaden and Willow or to blah, 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 let's just, let's be a partnership, but, but respect each other. That's dope. You know, know like what I'm saying? Like, I look at it and I'm like, this is, this is great. Mm -hmm. You know, sure, some, some August stuff comes out, but the fact that this goes they're, into they're gonna empower themselves out of this. Jada and Will, like, they're powerful people. They're, they're really mm -hmm. powerful. They're, they're, you know, they're human. So there are gonna be moments where they can be honest and say things like, you know, I was hurting and I needed to feel good. That's the most fucking honest thing. Yeah that I could hear somebody say as a celebrity sitting across from their husband knowing the camera's right there. And being real about yeah, it. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm like, and for him, regardless, tears or not, for him to sit there and to be able to talk about, I think that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Because like that infidelity or whatever, like that's just a human thing. You don't have to be a celebrity to experience the things that they're, they're going through. Right. And why do we care whose dick, who's sucking? <laughs> so I, feel, I feel more bad for the guy choosing red hair. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> August. I'd rather be crying ass Will than fucking red haired August. I don't know why he talked about it though. Exactly. Well, maybe he wanted clout. Was it recent? Yeah, yeah maybe he wanted, I don't know. No, so Jada, he's getting pressured. Jada said that this relationship was like four, four no, 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 him talking about it. Oh yeah, oh, that's recent. Uh, yeah, like why does he even have to bring it up? That's why they were kind of like. Caught off guard. They were just like, why now? This is something we've dealt with years ago. But so he's probably bringing it up as like a badge of honor. It's an ego thing, you know? Well, in another interview that I had read, uh, apparently August had come into their life at that particular time and he was like, uh, I guess mentally ill or just needed help. Yeah, he was sick. So like they were like helping him, you know, like bringing him in. And, and all that, and I guess the relationship had developed into yeah. something more. You That's know, what is healing though. Yeah. Getting laid is healing. Maybe that's what maybe brought him back to reality. Jada got some fucking medicinal cunt. <laughs> we have 50. What did 50 say? So it's a conversation with him and Will. 50 says, Yo, Will, are you all right over there? Will says, Yes, I'm cool. I appreciate your concern, my brother. And then 50 says, But why should she tell you that shit on a show for everybody to see? And Will says, We broke up, so she did her and I did me. And 50 says, Then she said, only she can give permission for somebody to blow her back out. And then <laughs> Will goes, fuck you, 50. Wow. 50's like, what did I do?